Many change initiatives may bubble up from the ranks, but their success depends upon the advocacy of those at the top. Winning those folks over to your side is essential. You know, it's not enough. You have to make your influence felt one-on-one, -on -one, person to person. There are three ways to know when you should get involved. One, when it really matters. Change is uncomfortable, so speaking out over low stakes issues is counterproductive. You become nothing more than a crank. Speaking out about issues in which you're involved or have expertise, that's expected. People need to know what you think and why. Two, when your voice must be heard. As a change agent, you must be the voice for new thinking, even when people don't want to hear the message. You need to advocate for your ideas. Many folks who implement Principles of lean thinking face this dilemma on a daily basis. Three, when you can affect change. This might be the most important criterion of all. That is, if the higher-ups have blessed a course of action, don't fight it, okay? That said, if things that need doing that benefit from your expertise, offer your voice. This is especially true if it affects your specific function. And finally, be humble. As movie star Ida Lupino once said, often I pretended to a cameraman to know less than I did. That way, I got more cooperation. No one likes a show off. We are much more disposed to follow folks we believe are doing things for the right reasons, not to polish their resume. As a change agent, your challenge is to integrate your way of thinking into an organization in ways that don't threaten individuals, but rather complement the goals and strategies of the organization.